It's a cold January morning in Glen Allen, Alaska, and there's a whole lot of trash talking going on in the streets. The Copper Basin 300 is considered one of the toughest dog sled races in Alaska. It starts and finishes in Glen Allen, Alaska, with checkpoints in Tulsona, Lake Louise, Sourdough, Myers Lake, and Chistachina. It is supported by a local cadre of volunteers who are committed to the race. What makes the Copper Basin 300 unique? Just ask the volunteers who run it. Uh, I love the people, I love the dogs, I love the teams, and I, th I think it's a great aspect. One of the things is that's very unique to Alaska, especially to this region, is the, the Copper Basin 300 dog race. Um, so Audit provides uh, volunteer work, and uh, we also provide some of the tents, some of the generators, and some of the lights and equipment, things like that, to help uh, assist the musters as they come in. So um, every year I volunteer kind of in different capacities, uh, but here at the checkpoint what we do is as teams come into the checkpoint we record their time, we make sure they have their mandatory gear with them, um, we help them make sure they know where to go to get their um, drop, if they need to drop a dog or if they need to get with a vet or if they need to get their supplies in the checkpoint and, where, and then their handlers help them get staged in the checkpoint. It feels like family when you come here. Everybody loves the dogs and it's all just one big community. Um, the colder weather down here in the basin, I think, makes things a little tougher and the beauty here is absurd. What I like about this best is seeing the whole community come together and pull off a huge event like this that covers you know everything from Glen Allen, Tossona, Lake Louise, Sourdough. Here to Myers Lake, across to Chisichina and back. It's, uh, it's amazing. And you know, all the trail breakers that do their work before the season even starts, before the mushing race starts. It's an incredible amount of work. One of the cool things about the race is that the checkpoints are on the road system, and the um, but the race goes cross country. So it's a really great opportunity for the public to come out and um, watch the race. They can just travel in their vehicles. They don't have to fly someplace. When you start getting involved with the sport so much, you just fall in love with it. I, I love the dogs. I like being outside in the winter. The people are great. The sense of community is amazing. Um, it kind of hits all the buttons in my brain as far as all the moving parts of being able to multitask and help people achieve their goals and their dreams and be part of their history. So I mean dog mushing, yeah, it's changed my life. I really enjoy being a part of the community. What I enjoy most is, I think it's fun seeing the mushers come in. It's also fun to brag to my family back home in the lower 48 that I'm hanging out um, outside in the winter in Alaska and checking in dog mushers. So um, seeing the dogs and bragging to my family back at home what I'm up to. <laughs> <laughs> 